Okay, refractions of light. Eh? Refractions. What, is, what does it mean by refractions? Eh? Refractions of light means the change of directions of the light ray. So that is refractions. Eh? So why? Why this light uh, change the directions of the propagations? Why? Light rays are bent when they pass and angles in or out of materials such as gas, uh, sorry, such as glass and water. And this effect is called the uh, refractions. So refraction is the change of the angle or bend of the light ray eh, when it moves in or out of a material, uh, a transparent material. Okay, so that is uh, refractions. For example, sir, uh, there's a light ray, okay, the light ray heading towards uh, another medium. This light ray is called the incident ray. We have learned this uh, in reflections of light, yeah? okay, this is incident ray. When this ray it reach uh, the second medium, okay, you see the directions change, yeah? okay, suppose it move in a straight line, okay, but the direction change, now it moves uh, a, a little bit lower. So this is called the refracted ray. Yeah? This is the incident ray and this is a refracted ray. Uh, if we draw a line, a straight line perpendicular to this plane at the points of refractions, eh? okay, we draw a straight line and this line is called a normer. It's called a normer. And you need to know how to draw the normer, eh? okay, because in the exam they may ask you to draw the ray diagram, so you must learn how to draw the normer. Okay, and the angle be between the incident ray and the normer is called the angles of incident. So this I is the angles of incident. And the angle between the refracted ray and the normer is called the angles of refractions. And it's denoted by the symbol R. That's what you need to know about the fundamentals of refractions, the definitions of refractions, and some important terms uh, in the ray diagram. Light passing into an optical denser medium is bent towards the normer. When the light passes through uh, two different medium, okay, these two medium has different uh, optical density. Uh, if we move from less dense medium into a denser medium, then it will be bent towards the normer. Let me show you the picture. Uh, if it's from the denser to less dense, Okay, denser to less than that, it will be bent away from the normer. So materials such like the glass, water, and paraffin are said to be optical denser. Then and usually, if the density is higher than A, then it's optical denser. Usually, okay, but not absolutely. Let me show you this example. Example one. Example one. They want you to draw the normers of the given points on the object. Okay, when you draw the normer, okay, make sure that this normer is at right angles to the plane. This is a plane. Huh? This is a plane and this line is 90 degree. 90 degree with the plane, okay? And it passes through the point. This is the points of re this is the points of refractions. Huh? So that is that's how we draw the normal. If you have a ruler, okay? If you have a ruler, so you can use a ruler to help you to draw the normal. So if you have a ruler, then you can you can place a ruler so that is uh, perpendicular, okay? The ruler is perpendicular. Now, how do we know a ruler is perpendicular to the plane? Okay, now, when I, this is my ruler, okay? Let's say this is my ruler. Uh, how do I know this is right angle? How do I know? Okay, now, on your ruler, you have this scale, right? You have this scale. If you place your scale coincidence with the plane, okay? This is the plane, and the scale is coincident, means exactly on top of the plane, uh, then this is 90 degree, okay, if it's coincident. If it's not coincident, not coincidence means uh, like this. If it's like um, like this, okay, or like this, uh, then it's not coincidence, eh? okay. If the scale of the ruler is coincidence like this, uh, then this is 90 degree. So try to use a transparency ruler, okay, and then so place the ruler on top of these pictures and make sure that, okay, the scale of the ruler uh, coincidence with the plane here, uh, then this is 90 degree. And then you use this ruler to draw a dashed line. Usually we use a dashed line, eh? a dashed line, dash or dotted line, okay, dotted line to indicate normal. And that is the normal. Very important for you to know how to draw the normal. So let's continue. 
So uh, the normal is at right angle to the refractions plane. So therefore, okay, this is a normal. Uh, this is another one. And this is another one. So we can see that, okay, this is the 90 degree, this one is also 90 degree, and this one is also 90 degree, 90 degree, okay? And as I told you just now, you can use the ruler to help you to draw that. Uh, for this one, this one, 90 degree, one. Okay, yeah? So you can see that all of this actually is 90 degree with the plane, huh? right angle. Okay. Um, you can use set square to help you if you want. Okay. Um, you can use a protractor to really measure 90 degree, okay? But uh, you can use a ruler so that this, uh, when you place a scale coincident with the plane, okay, then the, the ruler usually is uh, at right angles to the plane. Eh? So to draw the refracted ray, first of all, you need to draw the normal, okay? You need to draw the normal. After drawing the normal, so this is a dense, this is, let's say this is a glass, okay? So this is the air. So this is from a uh, less dense to denser. Less dense to denser, the light ray, this is a normal, okay? The light ray will be refracted closer to the normal, okay? Closer to the normal. So initially, suppose that uh, it moves straight forwards, okay? But uh, after refraction, it is refracted or moved closer to the normal. This is a normal, eh? So closer to the normal. So this one is also less than to denser, closer to the normal. And then, uh, okay, so from less than medium to denser, the light ray is reflected closer to the normal. Again, this one, okay, draw the normal first. Okay, it's also closer to the normal. This is the normal, so it's closer to the normal. Okay, now these two, uh, this is from denser to less dense. Uh, denser to less dense, it will be reflected away from the normal. Okay, so first we draw the normal, uh, then after that is the refracted ray. From so denser medium to less than medium, the light ray is refracted away from the normal. This is the normal. Suppose it move here, straight line, okay, but then it's refracted away, yeah, further from the normal. Okay, so this one also uh, is uh, refracted away from the normal. If the light ray is at right angles to the plane of refractions or same direction as the normal, okay? Same direction is as the normal. So then, uh, where is the light is refracted, okay? Is refracted away from the normals or closer to the normals or what? Okay, if it's a uh, 90 degree with the plane, uh, 90 degree with the plane or uh, same line as the normal. Same, yes, the directions will not change, okay? The directions of the lights will not change, so it's not refracted. The light ray is not refracted. That is the case where uh, the incident ray is at right angles uh, to the plane. The light ray is not refracted. So it will just move forward in a straight line. The light ray is not refracted if the angles of incident is 90 degree. Yeah. Okay, then how about this? Uh, if they give you a prism like this, a triangle prism, what will happen? Uh, what will happen? So this is from less dense to denser. So the light ray will be refracted closer to the normal. Now now from, from the prisms to the air, that, that is from denser to less dense. Huh? Denser to less dense, it will be refracted away from the normal. Away from the normal. So you make a turn, huh? the light ray make a turn. That is directions of refractions. Okay, then how about uh, semicircular prisms? Okay, for semicircular prism, if the light ray is heading towards the center of the curvature, this is the curve, uh, this is the center. So if it's heading towards the center, then the, the light ray is not refracted. It is not refracted because it's, uh, the light ray is uh, same directions uh, as the normal. So uh, it's not refracted. But when you reach the center, it moves from denser to less than, then it will be refracted away from the normal. How about this one? Okay, a rectangular prisms. So first, it will be refracted closer to the normal. And then after that, it's from denser to less dense. It will be refracted away from the normal. Okay, and make sure that this line and this lines are parallel if you extend it, okay? If you extend these two lines, eh? If you extend these two lines, you will find that they are parallel, actually. They are parallel line, yeah? 
this line and these lines are parallel and it must be parallel okay if it's not parallel then so your teacher will give you wrong so first closer to the normal and then away from normal and this line and this line must be parallel so these two rays must be parallel eh?